chloroacetic acid glycolic acid glycolic acid does not produce the recommended or required effect we expect a good effect we expect a desirable result use trichloroacetic acid for a peel 30 percentage pre peel with tretinoin 0.025 percentage for a week do a peel leave for frosting post peeling along with sunscreeners first two days topical steroids followed with hydroquinone for two weeks it will give around 50 to 70 percentage results any cosmetic procedure the results which you tell should be guarded 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 don't promise too much like mama uh, sir excuse me sir excuse me sir yeah uh, sir in case of uh, facial rejuvenation facial procedures sir uh, be louder ma'am sir in case of facial procedures yeah. uh, you said you can be you can use lignocaine for an anesthesia where uh, where exactly and how should you institute it sir i am not able to hear you ma'am sir in case uh, Sir, in case of facial procedures, yeah. you said lignocaine can be used instead yeah. of topical anesthesia. Yeah. Uh, how should you use it, sir? Uh, how yeah. should you apply an anes uh, anesthesia? Uh, I will do case? one thing, ma'am. The next case, I I will show you how to inject it, right? Okay, sir. And I thought it's all simple, ma'am. No, sir. Yeah, pay. Need... Yeah, doctor from uh, Kerala. I think Kerala, right? He gave a message yesterday, telling that for you. electro surgery chemical peeling all these are easy sir we have only electro surgery so please give a concentration on electro surgery right like that i think i have to give a concentration on this anesthesia also yes. i thought it's just going to be simple no so face salon sir it is i i i will give ma'am yes. don't and worry and one more doubt sir yeah. so in case of punch crafting in vitligo yeah. uh, what about uh, post posol or narrow ben uv is it uh, beneficial sir much more than uh, single you see ma'am you see targeted phototherapy will be very beneficial targeted phototherapy because you are not, you are going to target only the vitelligenous tissue there is no dispersion one there is no side effects of the ultraviolet radiation also the targeted phototherapy will be better okay. one two this what you are telling the narrow band uv it may help but unfortunately what we are seeing is sometimes if the patient discontinues mm. that becomes a problem whatever we have attained everything is gone and it becomes an unstable vitiligo also sometimes mm. you see we we are in a country where we have a lot of light we don't need any therapy for that matter as such but if you are going to focus use targeted phototherapy or if you think that the patient is educated and the patient will oblige and patient will obey your commands you can go in for a phototherapy also the main thing is the objective for any phototherapy is one stability two repigmentation you discontinue it you discontinue in a fast fashion again everything is going to reappear that aspect you have to be careful and what about uh, five fluoride reversal in uh, post inflammatory hypopigmentation sir Ah, post-inflammatory hypopigmentation in uh, after uh, po after trauma also. After trauma. Yeah. After trauma, right? Yes, sir. You see, whenever we see a patch of post-inflammatory hypopigmentation after trauma, say dermabrasion, we uh, that for that purpose only I told you you can give a two two days steroid application one. Okay. Say even after that we end up with post-inflammatory hypo hypopigmentation. with any topical therapy it's not responding it's something like this your bone your bone goes for fracture reunites in a wrong fashion what you do break it and reunite it same way you can abrade that skin 
leave it to pick